Greg Lisicki, and I am the CBRN Application Specialist for ADS Inc. The name of the product is the SCOTS kit, the Specialized Chemical Ordnance Transportation System. We found that working with Navy, Army, Marine Corps, Air Force, EOD, EOD in general across the verticals, they all have the same basic mission when it comes to unexploded chemical ordnance. They all have to do what they call a leak seal, pack, and transport evolution. So they would roll up on a piece of unexploded chemical ordnance, and right now they all basically have the same type of a system that they're building in-house themselves. They call it an initial entry team kit, an IET kit. So part of what, what ADS does and what ADS does very well is identify capabilities gaps and then tries to, to bring that capability to the end user with using our reach back capabilities within not only the organization, but other folks that, that we know throughout the, throughout the industry. And we were approached to create a standardized initial entry team kit slash Scott's system, which is what we have right here. So it's basically just comprised of sealing, decontamination media, the various tools that you need to complete that evolution, as well as what kind of makes it a really unique solution is the actual containment, chemical containment bag that is made out of activated carbon cloth with a non-permeable Tyvek backing. So what that means is inside this bag, it would be lined with activated carbon cloth. And the concept behind activated carbon cloth is it absorbs a chemical agent into the fibers, therefore not allowing it to off-gas or leak out. So it gives that operator, that EOD tech, that extra level of protection. If the seal does fail inside the seven millimeter trash bag, it would then get contained in this bag. So working with our, with our partners in the EOD community, we have come up with the concept of the bag where after it's decontaminated, sealed, it then gets packaged in this containment bag with multiple points, multiple lifting points, depending how they're gonna to hump it out, whether it's standing upright or across, the reinforcement where they need it to be reinforced, and this is all taking feedback from the customer. This is probably the fifth one that we designed. We would make one, take it to them. They would provide the feedback. We would go back, and so finally, we think that we have the actual solution that the end user was looking for. We were able to go out, source all of the different products that the customer was looking for, as well as not only just commercially source the products, but we were also able to work with some of our designers and some of our manufacturing partners to create the actual bag to meet the customer's specifications.